श्री गणेशाय नम ओं श्री सरस्वत नम ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्रीराम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम 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 जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम जय जय राम रामाय राम भद्राय रामचंद्राय वेधसे रघुनाथाय नाथाय सीताया पत नम ओं श्रीरामचंद्राय नम अतुलबलधाम हेमशैलाभदेह दनुजवन कृशाग्रगण्यम सकलगुण निधान वानराधीश रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जातन्नमा रघुपति प्रिय भक्त वात जातन्नमा ओं श्री हनुमते नम ओ ध्याया चिन्मयानंद गुरदेव महामति प्रेम पूर्ण क्रियाशील सदा लोकहितेरत कृपालु सुंदराकार सत्यदर्शिन वाचा तत्वप्रकाशिन्या शोकमोह विनाशिन ओ श्री चिन्मय सद्गुरव नम नम श्री तुसीदास सदरिष्ठा धीमते पूरी हृदय ये नम प्रेमृते न मे ओ श्री तुसीदासय नम हरिओं a very warm welcome to this series in our previous session we were talking about the logical derivation of that supreme being being within ourselves and that supreme being for the convenience of the jeevatma to reach that paramatma which is me myself in essence is the personification of bhagavan and very important point we need to note as long as this jeevatma is present paramatma is also valid 
is also present, is also there. Therefore, our constant, continuous, consistent surrender at the feet of Bhagavan will purify our mind and take us to the real essence of that Bhagavan which is very much within me. This is the essence. Tulsi Zasi concluded in the 23rd Doha Niragunate yehi bhati bada Nama prabhavu apar Niraguna Yehi bhati bada The very concept of the Nirguna Nirakara Tattva Brahma We are able to understand we are able to appreciate we are we are able to assimilate we are able to abide in it only because of nama nama prabhavu apar without name nothing can be identified including the supreme therefore so many names are given reality truth lord god bhagavan anything you may call and personified Bhagavan, Avatar Purusha, helps us understand that Supreme better. We will see. Now he says, having said that, said what? Nirguna Tehi Bhati Bada. The Nirguna essence is well understood. Bhati Bada here means what? Well understood and experienced through what? Nama Prabhavu. And then now he says, Kahavu namu bada ramate. Now kahavu. Now I will tell you what. Nama, the name, namu, ramate bada. It is even greater than Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra ji himself. Very, very, very beautiful. But at the same time very logical also. We will see. Now in this beautiful prasanga. In fact, I would advice if I may say so I would suggest I would prescribe these two sections 23 and 24 to be chanted regularly to be understood of course properly and to be chanted regularly and if possible please chant daily with heart and also by heart it very very useful and it is useful when we are going through issues also, problem situation, we will see. Kahavu nama bada ramate nija vichara anusar. Now look at this very clearly. Acharya here really says, first he explained the nirguna. And he says, nirguna te hi bhati bada. Now he says, Saguna also should not be taken lightly. Very many times, the so-called intellectuals, I am putting them within inverted commas. Why? They have to decide whether really they are intellectuals. Hmm? The so-called intellectuals normally say, huh, you have to gain the supreme truth. After gaining supreme truth, all these are all stories. Ay, ay. After getting the truth, that, that, that phrase is there, you see. Lot many times we see people here. If only I, can, I may make up my mind, I can do anything. This if only I can. That never happens. I don't make up my mind many times. Why? Because of the weakness of the mind itself. Think. Therefore, the so-called intellectuals say, ah, all these are all uh, not the supreme, it is not the ultimate uh, destination. These are all paths, these are all smaller this one. Karma is also one step towards the higher. Bhakti is also a step towards the higher. I can't accept, you know. For them, he says, Nija vichara anusar with the help of Nija vichara logical scientific, rational thinking I will come to uh, give you or present to you how Namu Bada Ramate 
the name is greater than rama himself it is not some uh, uh, you know just uh, some story kind of you know some superstition or a fanatic no 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 please don't mistake it to be fanatic or uh, this one here i will tell you with logic nije vichar anusar hmm? now we will see what he wants to say you know one thing we need to clearly understand Sant Tulsi Das Ji, Goswami Tulsi Das Ji wants to establish that Nama controls everything. Name is the ultimate. Ha! Huh. Once we realize Brahman, then there is nothing. Uh, on the other day, I had mentioned there are two standpoints: absolute standpoint, relative standpoint. You and I are not fit enough to talk about the absolute standpoint. We are still in the relative reality. Therefore, from the relative standpoint, all these are very important. Nama is extremely important. <coughs> Having said that, we will now go to the twenty-fourth chaupai. I will slightly take a different tune, as I had made a clear mention before. I am not a Sangita person. I have not learned Sangita. I have just taken these tunes from Pooja Guruji Swami Tejo Mahanji, to whom I credit everything, whatever I have. Now this, I will try a new tune. Ram Bhagat Hita Narata Nudhari Sahi Sankat Kiye Sadhu Sukhari Namu Saprema Japat Anayasa Bhagat Hohi Mudamangal Basa Rama Ekata Pasatiya Tari Nama Koti Kalakumati Sudhari Rishihit Rama Suketu Sutaki सहित सेन सुत कीन ही भी बाकी सहित दोष दुख दास दुरासा दलई नामु जी मीरा भी निसी नासा बंजे वो राम आपु भव चापु भव भय बंजन नाम प्रतापु दंडक बनु प्रभु की न सुहावन जनमन आमित नाम की ये पावन निशिचर निकर दलेर घुनंदन नाम सकल कली कलुषनी कंदन सबरी गीध सुसेवकनी Sugati Dini Raghunath Nama Udare Amita Khala Beda Bidita Gunagath Siyavar Ramachandra Ki Jai Pavan Suta Hanuman Ki Jai Bolo Bhai Sab Santan Ki Jai राम भगत हित नरत अनुधारी राम नरत अनुधारी तनु मींस बॉडी नरत अनु द बॉडी ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बीइंग नर धारी टू टेक टू होल्ड द बॉडी ऑफ अ ह्यूमन बीइंग राम भगत हित Bhagavan Shri Ramchandra Ji took the body of a human being for what? His devotee's welfare. Very important. We have to take this in two standpoints. First standpoint is with reference to eradicating evil. In the Bhagavad Gita, we see Paritranaya Saduna, Vinashaya Sadhuskritam, Dharma Samstha Panartaya Sambhavam Yuge Yuge. To eradicate evil, he took Avatara to eradicate Ravana. And you will, we, will, we will actually see while we are seeing the entire Ramayana 
there are certain connections to everything very beautifully presented we will see and to do good for his devotees for the welfare of his bhakta jana so bhagata hita nar tanudhari sahi sankata because of that because of what because of taking the body of a nara of a human being he has to go through and endure sankata sahi sankata sahanam he he took upon himself all kinds of sankata we generally all of us know the story isn't it generally we know ram katha and then we all know how much he had to do to go to lanka kill ramana and come back to ayodhya and go back to his abode narayana became or took the avatar of ramchandra ji for the sake of good of all the people so many people he went he you know uh, came across in his ayana in his path hmm? until he went back to his abode and the destination here was ramana to kill him and go back in the process of his ayana that is why it is called ramayana ramayana it is called isn't it how many people we will see sahi sankata at the same time <coughs> tolerating everything enduring everything at the same time no sai no hai all with a smile think kie sadhu sukhari even though he took upon himself lot of sankata he only gave sukha to the sadhu sadhu here refers means not only saints and sages sadhu is every noble person even a samsari who leads a dharmic life he is called a sadhu only right therefore kie sadhu sukhari namu sa prema japata anayasa namu namu means name sa prema you know otherwise you know everybody talks even at times we sai with the name hayo rama like that we say there we don't tell it with bhakti it comes out of habit all right hayo rama why do you, why does he have to do this mind is with that person who did something which is not acceptable my by me there also we may tell rama that is not required, that is not accepted accepted meaning what in this particular field that is also accepted in different way of thinking that we will see all right but here in the in this particular uh, line what he means is sa prema japata why we take the name of the lord we perform the japa of the lord with what sa prema with love anayasa look at that word beautifully taken anayasa without any difficulty pressure i have to do what to do today i have to do one every day i do one mala today also i have to do one mala but i don't have time but one mala is difficult i will do 54 one mala is 108 i will do 54 and finish it today rama sorry this is very easy for us isn't it to say sorry to rama and escape it is very easy for us in fact it is more easy because our understanding please note our understanding is it is a vigraha think not that we don't have bhakti but we don't have that faith we believe therefore excuses are taken and then we take shelter into certain fanciful statements given properly by the acharyas we take those statements and justify our weaknesses think rama will understand that i am very busy i don't have time for him think 
That is why such thoughts are very, very beautifully given to show us how weak we are. If we have to do, if we have that sankalpa, drida nishchaya, sankalpa in us, then we will find time for that. Think. Do we really not have time for Bhagavan? No, we have time. We have time enough to scroll the uh, Facebook. We have enough time to watch the YouTube. <coughs> we have enough time to message, text and go on chatting with people for hours together. We don't have time for Bhagavan. Think. That is why he says, Anayasa effortlessly taking his name with love becomes nature, natural for me. It comes naturally to me. Namu saprema japata anayasa bhagata hohi muda mangala basa. Muda mangala always comes together. I told you earlier. Muda means that sweetness, that beautiful beauty in it. And mangala auspicious and good. Both auspicious and good at the same time, joy, bliss, ecstasy, both come always together. See, sometimes wrong things also appear to give us joy. That is not the joy what it is talked about here. Here, muda, mangala, that is why mangala is added all the time. It is auspicious joy. It is good joy. It is definitely acceptable joy. Hmm? With all legitimacy in it. Muda Mangala Basa Bhagata Hohi that Bhakta who chants the name of the Lord with love and naturally we will he will come to experience the flavor of Muda and Mangala. Rama Ekata Pasatiya Tari. Now here Slowly Bhagavan is now going to talk about. Now you, you, you may call this particular section as Namayana. What we are talking is Ramayana and the section can be called as Namayana because Nama is glorified. Its significance also is being expressed. The wonder of Rama, Nama of Bhagavan is expressed. Rama Ekatapasatiyatari Nama Koti Kala Kumati Sudhari. During his <coughs> so called lifetime as Rama, Avatara Purusha Rama in this world, he has given directly salvation, moksha, to Ekatapasa. Tiyatari, a very very important point. I will discuss this. Rama, who tapasa here means the tari nari, who is a tapaswini by his herself. The reference is to ahilya. There are two versions: ahilya, ahilya. Ahilya is generally a regional version. Ahilya is a, is a real name. Rama Eka Tapasa Tiyatari, he has given salvation directly to Ahalya. We all know the story. Because of the Chala of Indra Devata, who wanted to um, take the hold of Ahalya Devi, who was uh, the wife of a sage, Gautama Rishi. And Gautamji, when he had gone for bath, Indra comes in the disguise of Gautama and he uh, does the wrong uh, act there. She doesn't know. Even though she is a Tapasvini Devi, Devi she is, she doesn't know because he came in the guise of Gautama and therefore she is definitely praised as a Tapasvitari. Of course, Later, Gautama Rishi uh, gives her a shapa and she becomes a stone. And the moksha, moksha sadhana is what? When Bhagavan Sri Ramchandra Ji comes and when his feet touches you, at that time you will have, you will have uh, vimochana from this shapa. 
and vishwamitra ji knowing this brings ramchandra ji there along and then na tari ahalya ji was given moksha ram ek taap satya nari naam koti khal kumati sudhari naam the name koti khal kumati sudhari sudhari it relieved it brought them up who koti khal kumati crores and crores of wicked people nama has given them a clear understanding by chanting the nama and they have brought them out of that wickedness in them those wicked thoughts gets purified and they raise themselves to higher plane of purity and nama has done this now we will think a little about it when we talk of ahalya ji ahalya ji by herself was very pure she was deceived this is one aspect of it it's a small part in the whole ramayan that deception part of it but the focus has to come where that bhagwan shri ram ramchandra ji out of his compassion listening to the guru at that time vishwamitra at that particular segment of time vishwamitra was his guru dasharatha had told him from now he is your guru go and obey him so at that time vishwamitra was a guru vishwamitra ji when he said now this is uh, ahalya you have to give her salvation that is the uh, prayaschita for the this one. and then ramchandra ji touches with his feet and ahalya ji was relieved of her shapa and she took to moksha idea in this line the first line is in case we perform wrong actions unknowingly then bhagwan will not take it wrongly bhagwan himself will come to you look at that thought bhagwan will walk up to you and relieve you of that shapa of shapa here means what the ill effects of those wrong doings which was done unknowingly think then bhagwan will walk up to you and relieve you of that inconveniences and sufferings and give you moksha this is the essence of the first line you will be relieved even if you do wrong things unknowingly now these terminologies must be understood very clearly very many times this unknowingly by mistake i regret all these are shabda please note please note please be very attentive all these shabda we take shelter in and knowingly we conduct 123 crores of mistakes at various levels to the deepest wrong or to the subtlest wrong simple mistakes also very simple mistakes also we do telling lies at unwarranted place that is the simplest telling lies at there is nothing like telling lies at wanted place that's a different issue to be discussed in the modern uh, scenario uh, all right but i am talking of that simple mistakes what we do to the deepest wrong what we do all of them are generally 99.999999 dot 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 percent known mistakes only think that is why we are given intelligence therefore knowingly we will do mistakes and then say chalo dekhenge baad mein we will see later think here that 
zero point zero 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 dot 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 one percent, if at all any, which is done by mistake, unknowingly. It is for that Bhagawan will walk up to give us salvation. Then what about the known mistakes? Nama koti khala kumati sudhari. Now here meaning what sudhari has got two meanings. One is he will still come and relieve us. Another meaning is if we take the nama of Bhagawan and purify our mind. Sudhari, sudharanam is the word. Sudhari meaning what? If I take the name of the Lord, repent for my mistakes wholeheartedly. Not by some word, I am sorry, I never thought it would happen. All these are all words. All these are all words. Hmm? We take shelter in such words and escape from all sorts of uh, situations. But they are all words we take, but we don't really mean from our heart. What is meant here is Nama Sudhari. If we take the Nama with, that is why he said, Japata, Saprema Japata. Saprema, when we take the Nama and chant it with all love and a sense of regret, wholeheartedly. I regret sincerely for all the mistakes what I did. Bhagavan, please forgive me. Isn't it? Please forgive me. Kayena, vacha, manasa, indriva, prakritehe, svabhavat, karomi, yadyat, sakalam. Narayana, yeti, samarpayami. Honestly, when we do, and then take the name of Bhagavan, and by taking the name of the Bhagavan, I realize myself the mistakes, and I make a conviction. What? I will no more again do that. And then, stay put with that conviction. By what? Taking the name of the Lord, that Saprema Japa Nama Sankirtanam or Nama Japa Sudhari will definitely cleanse my mind. Clean all the impurities in my mind and give us that supreme abode. Bhagavan will clean it and render you so pure that you can still be at his feet. How beautiful, isn't it? With mistakes, he will come. But here in the second part, efforts are required. Our effort, Purushartha is indicated. In the first line, Prarabdha is indicated. What is Prarabdha? You, have, you cannot do any effort. Why? You never knew. Like how Ahalya became a stone. What can a stone do? Stone cannot do anything. It just remains. Similarly, by mistake, if I do any mistakes, I just be quiet. Unknowingly. Why? Anyway, I don't know. But that is not our case. Our case is, we know deliberately far ahead of our committing the mistake, we knew. Think. Yet we make mistakes because of push of our ragatvesha. Atakena prayukto yam papam charati purushaha anichanna pivarshneya baladivani yojitaha kama eshaha Krodha Eshaha Rajoguna Samudbhavaha Maha Ashanaha Maha Papma Evam Vidhi Yavairinam Krishna very categorically says in the Bhagavad Gita. Think. Therefore, even if we are doing it with Kama and Krodha, if I am ready to change through what? Clear effort. Self-effort. This self-effort is called sadhana. Sadhana is no big uh, thing out in the uh, far above the clouds. My full self-effort to refrain from repeating my own mistakes and resolving to take resolution at his feet. It's called sadhana. How do I do that? Simple Nama Japa. Rama. Sufficient. Think. We will continue tomorrow. Om Shanti.
ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓ